Hey everybody, welcome to your bikini body circuit workout. So for today's session, all you're gonna need is a mat and one set of heavier dumbbells. I'm gonna work with 10 pounds. Heavy is relative to your abilities and your levels. So use what you have, use what you can control. We're gonna do approximately 24 repetitions of each exercise, building in intensity and challenge. I want you to stick with the version that works best for your body. If the weight gets too heavy at any point, you can't control it with good form anymore, set it down, use just your body weight. We wanna stay safe and make this appropriate for you. So listen to your body. As always, as we go through, let's start warming up. Give me a little toe tap. Good. So we're gonna be really efficient with this circuit. Give me a reach as we talk about it. So when we say bikini body, we're not just gonna get you ready for that bikini for summer. We're gonna just really target in on all of those areas that you might wanna highlight in your swimsuit. Take that arm across, just give me a reach and a little twist. Abs are in tight, but it's just a way of saying that this is gonna be a super efficient total body workout today, okay? We're gonna focus on strength and keep your heart rate up for some cardio too. Take it center, give me a hamstring curl back. Stretching things out, good. So I say things like bikini body and all of that to get you here, to get you working out with me. But you know it's about way more than that, right? Of course you do, I knew that. Pull it back. Good. Are you ready, Peanut? You ready to get your bikini body on? Give me a squat, guys, down and up. Real easy. Push those hips back. I think she answered me, I think she said yes. <laughs> Give me four more. Back is straight, neck is relaxed and long. Two. Take it down, just give me a little hold and pulse. So check in our alignment, even in the warm up. the knees are behind the toes, your hips are back. Now, I know that you're looking at me to see what's going on, but as soon as you're able to, relax your eyes down, because I don't want you to be stressing out your neck as we go through the workout. We're gonna tuck the tailbone as we pulse, contract the abs, now arch your back. Tuck it under, arch it back. So feel this in those abdominals, stretch that low back out. I like to do this one a lot in our workouts because it wakes up the abs, but also gets the spine stretched a little bit. Two more. Good, let's roll it all the way up. And just go back to that toe tap, reaching the arms, making sure we got nice, warm shoulders. Take the arms across, let's work those abs on that rotation. Lifting up that back heel. Abs are pulled in tight. They're always gonna be supporting the spine. But of course, I always want you to breathe comfortably. Hamstring curl facing me. Pull that heel back. Now let's open the arms a little wider. Start to stretch across the chest. Press your hips forward so you feel a nice stretch in the front of those quadriceps. Front of those thighs. Four more. Three more. We're gonna go back to those squats, but let's see if we can go a little bit deeper into them. Come down, up. And I want you to curl your arms up. Start to squeeze the biceps. Want everything warmed up. Now let's talk about your feet for a second. Even if you're wearing shoes, which you may or may not be at home, I want you to think about spreading your feet wide in your sneakers. And anytime you're doing squats or lunges, you're gonna evenly press through your toes and your heels. Don't rely on just one or the other. Use the whole foot. Take it down, give me that pulse and hold, hands in the thighs. Tuck that tailbone, give me that crunch. And now arch. Abs in, stretch it out. Tuck it under, push it back. Good, you can make this range of motion a little bit bigger now that we're warmer. Four more, three more, two more, last one. Let's roll it all the way up. Walk on over and grab one of your weights. Now, when you're picking weights up, I know you've heard me say this before, pick them up carefully. Even if it's like three pounds, don't lean over. That's how you pull your back out. So lift with your back, or lift with your legs, keeping the back straight every single time. We're gonna start off with a real fun series of exercises to target the booty and the hips. Major bikini part, right? So we're gonna start holding the weight at the core where we can handle a little extra weight. Abs in tight, and I want you to stand on your right leg, and we're gonna cross the left leg back. 
into a curtsy lunge. Some of you know that curtsy lunges don't work for your knees. You're gonna do a traditional rear lunge in its place. Yeah? Okay, so here's what we got. We're gonna come down to a curtsy lunge, down, tap the toe out to the side. Ooh, I'm already wobbling. Give me eight, just like that, come down and up. It's eight, tap, seven, tap, six. The knee is opening to the side. Five, you're stepping back on a diagonal, unless you're doing that traditional rear lunge. Three more, two more. Now last one like this, and we're just gonna add on by lifting this leg into passe as it comes through. It's here, eight, seven, six. Told you it was gonna get a little harder as we go. We're gonna do four more here, and then I'm gonna give you one last challenge option. You can stay here the whole time, or relevate on that supporting leg, or give me a little hop. Eight. Here's what the relevate looks like. Seven. Both of them are challenging. Six. Keep the weight in tight to your center, especially if you're hopping. Four. Three. Feel that standing leg. Two. Give me one more. Woo, land in your lunge. Carefully come up. Feel that leg, yeah? Shake it out. Keep holding that heavy weight. Feet together, knees soft. Bring it overhead. We're gonna work your triceps before we go to the other side. Elbows in. Drop your chin to your chest. Give me eight overhead. Eight. Seven. Now, the weight is coming all the way forward on a slight diagonal. Four more. Aim to where the wall meets the ceiling in front of you. And we're gonna alternate lifting one heel at a time as you're extending. Keep the softness in your knees. This is optional. Through the heels. Two more. Option to lift that knee up now. Use the abs. Six, drop your chin to your chest. Don't look at me. Four more, elbows in tight to your head. Frame your beautiful face. Relax, how'd you do? You ready for that other side? I thought so, curtsy lunge time. Hold it into the core, so you know what we're doing. We're going right into the other side. Take it down, tap, two, cross it back, or rear lunge, three, squeeze. So you wanna step back all the weight is in that front leg. Good. So remember, we're gonna balance, so make sure you're standing strong on that front leg. One more. Option to take it to passe. Eight. Seven. Good, hold that weight right in front of your core. Six, right in front of the center. Five. Four. Three. Feeling that standing leg already. Woo, two. Give me one more. Optional releve or hop, let's do it. Eight, seven, you don't have to come up high. Six, keep the passe. Five, four, three, give me two more. Oh my goodness, I know I'm feeling it too. Last one, Woo, come back to your lunge. Center, overhead, triceps basic. Eight, seven, how you doing? Six, are you breathing hard? You should be, that's that cardio part. We got four more, three more. I'm gonna start with the left heel first. Left heel comes up, it's eight. Seven, practice shifting your weight. So you're ready for the knees when they come up. Four more here, elbows in, relax your neck. Two, add the knee lift if you can. Eight, seven, Six, relax that neck the whole time. Just four more, three more, two, come on, last one, finish it. Beautiful, nice work. How you doing? You good? We're gonna move on to a rear lunge and row combination. So let's keep the weight in the left hand. We're gonna lunge with the right leg. I'm just gonna turn on a little angle here. So this is a long lunge, which means your back leg is gonna stay straight, front knee bends over the ankle. Abs are in tight, spine is staying long. We reach forward. Now I'm just gonna hold the lunge for the first eight. The palm rotates forward and back into the body. Wrap that elbow in, 
tight to your side. Really pull through the side of the back. Squeeze. Four more here. Now, make sure your back is not rounding. I like to put my other hand on my back to remind me so I can feel it if I start to round forward. Think of sticking out your chest. Last one like this. Now, we're gonna optionally shift forward, come down. You can stay in that stationary lunge if that works better for you. We're just tapping the toe behind us, shifting the way forward. Up, down, pull, keep the row, you're just shifting your weight. Squeeze it. Two more, then I'm gonna give you one more optional challenge. With the back leg, now you can choose to try to float it up. It's here and here. Keep it long as you lunge. So most of the weight has to stay in that front leg, yeah? Should really be feeling that front leg now. Squeeze. Yes, I know you're screaming at me. Yes, I am feeling it. I hear you. I'm feeling it too. Two more. Up. Oh boy, last one, come on. We got it. Come back to your lunge. Beautiful, come up, breathe. I'm gonna go right to the other side. Peanut is amazed by our ability to do that. Aren't you, Peanut? Are you ready to watch our other side? Here we go, stationary lunge, nice and long. Pull it back, reach it forward. Oh, she's not amazed anymore. She's going back to chewing her bone. Squeeze. So it's nice and slow here because I really want you to wrap that elbow in strong through the back. Two more. Now remember, you can stay right here or shift forward tapping that back foot. Eight. So you're coming up into the row. You pull back as you stand up. Squeeze. Go long lunge. Pull back. Reach down. Keep your back flat for me. Four more like this. It's four. And down. Come on, three. And down, we got it. Two more here. Use the back of everything. Option to float that back leg. Here we go. Eight. And down. Seven, really squeeze. Control it, I know it's a challenge supposed to be, but make sure you can control your form every single time. Pull, Woo. squeeze, can we do two more? Yes. Last one here. Awesome work. Okay. Feel those legs. Squat down with your legs. Find your other dumbbell. We got a new set. Plie. Squat, curl, and press progression. So we're gonna do a plie squat, which means the feet are nice and wide, knees and toes turned out about 45 degrees. Just go wherever it's natural. Now because it's also a squat, instead of your traditional plie, you're gonna let your hips go behind you for this. So I want you to get as deep as you can. Down, press up. Hinge forward from your hips. Squeeze up. I'm just gonna turn to the side so you can see that little hinge. Notice it's not rounding forward. I'm hinging at my hips, keeping the spine long. Yeah, there's a big difference. Hinge, don't round forward. Give me two more. You're pressing through the toes and the heels, right? Squeeze your booty on the way up. Adding on, bicep curl, hands stay, facing each other, bring it up to the shoulders. Flat back. Good. Now these should be heavy weights. So you should feel this in those arms because they're smaller muscles, right? Hinge forward, squeeze up. Good, inhale and exhale. Three more here, then we're gonna add one more element. An overhead press, not yet. Two, flat back continually the entire time. A little bit faster, come down, curl, press. Yeah, down, curl, Press. Still got the hinge. Up. Nice and deep in that plie squat. Your back is flat. Your abs are supporting your spine. 
Let's do three more. Two more. Last one, come on. Awesome work, you guys. Set those weights down carefully to the side. So this is where we're gonna pull out the mat. Peanut, may I use my mat now? So we're gonna do a modified push-up, which means we're gonna be on our knees. And you, Missy, can come over here, chew your bone. So you want a little padding if you're on a hard surface. Hands are gonna be shoulder width apart. Now, if you're just starting out, do this on all fours. You can be right here, okay? Elbows in, back straight. When you're ready to make it harder, for you to bring your weight forward more. Really light on those knees. We're gonna keep the toes tucked under, but still light on the knees. Think about tucking your pelvis under slightly. Abs are in tight. We're gonna do eight push-ups. Elbows come into the side. Eight, seven, keep your spine long. Six, eyes are on the floor. Five, exhale up. Chest goes between your thumbs. Two, last one. Hold it, stretch your legs out to a full plank position. Abs in tight. Alternate your knees into your chest. We got eight, seven, keep your hips below your shoulder. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Now come back to the knees. Take a moment, and we're gonna come back up to that plie squat, curl and press. You don't have to do the rows again, don't worry about that. Find your weights. So, basic first. We're gonna go just a little bit faster with our tempo. Eight plie squats, eight, seven. Now, if I'm going a little too fast, you stay slower. You don't have to stay right with me. Three, two, adding on. Give me the curl at the top. Pick it up. Right up to those shoulders. Chin to chest, relax your neck. Three more. And we're gonna add on that press. Get ready. Overhead push, here we go. Eight, seven. Power up, six, flat back, five, four, three more, come on. Last two, one more right here. You got everything working in that exercise, carefully. Weights come down, you gotta do one more set of push-ups. Sorry, you can do it. So on the knees, Keeping the hands closer works more of the backs of those arms. We love that for our tank tops. Light on the knees, toes are on the floor, sorry. Abs in, tuck your tailbone slightly under, contract your abs, here we go. Eight, seven, six, feel your elbows against your ribs as they bend. Four, three, two, one more. Now hold it, come to plank, engage your abs. So this is for the abdominals. Alternate those knees. Shoulders stay over your hands. Three, four, it's not about cardio, it's about abs. Pull the knee into your chest using those abdominal muscles. Last one on each side. Come down, sit back, stretch and breathe. We're gonna finish up. One more exercise for your abs, more of the obliques. A little non-traditional, so we wanna keep working other parts of your body here. I'm gonna keep this on a little angle. So, front leg bent 90 degrees, back toe tucked under. If you need to, fold up your mat, get a pillow, put a towel underneath that back knee, make yourself comfortable, don't suffer. Abs in tight, your same arm as the front leg reaches up, you're gonna tap this hand on the floor, come up. Use those side obliques. We do eight, nice and quick. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Now if it's too hard to focus up at your hand, you can look straight ahead. Four, three, two more. 
We have just one more set of eight, but I want you to see if you can hover that back knee. Make it harder. Optional. Seven. Six, if that's too hard, keep it on the floor. Four more, yes, those thighs are back. Two more. Come on, give me one more, don't quit on the last one. Oh, I know it's hard, come on down. Only 16, not so bad, right? So setting it up on the other side. Tuck your back toes, front knee over the ankle, same arm reaches up. Eight basic, eight option to hover. Ready? Looking up or straight ahead. Eight. Press up through that side body. Six. You don't have to do crunches to work your abs. Two more. Last one like this. Your choice, if you can, hover it up. Eight. Seven, stay low though, don't come up. I know you want to, I do too. My thighs are screaming at me as well. Four, three, come on. Give me two more, don't stop. Last one. Woo, we did it. Come on down. Now, stretch out those thighs, yeah? We're done with the hard stuff. Quick stretch and then you're done. We're gonna step forward. I want you to lunge into the front leg, get all the weight off that back knee. You can hang here, or come up here, or open your chest, lift that heart. If you need to hold on to something for balance, you'd know that's always an option. Hands to the floor if you can reach, shift back. Now, if you're having trouble reaching the floor here, hold the seat of a chair. If you got yoga blocks, hold those yoga blocks. Push your hips back. If you're close to a wall, grab a wall. Quickly and carefully switch legs. Step forward and lunge all the way off the back knee. Option two, to the thigh. Keep your knee over your toes. Option three, open the chest. Hands to the floor. Shift back and extend. So that circuit certainly wasn't very long, but we should have felt everything, yeah? We got all those muscles. Bend that front leg in a little closer to you. Step the back foot forward. Hands on your thighs, roll up slow. Hands behind the hips, let's stretch that spine. Press it forward. Good. And just hugging one elbow into your head. Give me a reach away. So if you feel like you wanted to do that again, you're more than welcome to do some more sets and reps by just repeating that video one more time through. Or feel free to move on to another workout. Or if you're done for the day, you earned a rest. So thanks so much for sweating with me, guys. This was your bikini body circuit. I want to say a special thank you to motiontracks.com who provided us with the soundtrack today. Be sure to go to their website, guys. They've got lots of free workout mixes that you can download for free. We love that. Give them a thank you for giving us music, and I will look forward to sweating with you again soon. Thanks, guys. Say bye, Peanut. She's meditating.